Anthony, A.J. Joshua, Andy, the destroyer Ruiz Jr. Behind the Giants' success in the heavyweight division is a process of hardship, pain, and effort. Today, let's look at some unbelievable facts about these two boxers. But before we start, don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Now it's Andy Ruiz. Let's talk about first, his nickname, The Destroyer. Good point. December 7th, 2019, last time in the ring, and again, he was terribly out of shape. And even in 21 stops and 32 victories and a 66% KO ratio for this heavy hitter. But that's not how Andy Ruiz earned the nickname Destroyer. He inherited that name many years before he started boxing because as a youngster, Ruiz liked to destroy anything he got his hands on. Ruiz confirmed that they called him the Destroyer because he was always destroying stuff. They'd buy him a toy, and he'd break it the next day. But it's not quite the same, Lex. Andy Ruiz changed his life thanks to a message. Andy Ruiz got the fight by messaging Joshua's promoter, Eddie Hearn, on Instagram. No middleman, no have your people call my people, just a fighter pleading his case to a guy who decided he was worth a shot. It was late April, shortly after Ruiz had defeated Alexander Dimitrenko. Gerald Miller, Joshua's hand-picked opponent for his American debut, had been disqualified for failing repeated drug tests, and Ruiz took to Instagram to change his life. Andy Ruiz Jr. is a fleeting world championship incumbent. Ruiz, the first heavyweight champion of Mexican descent, devastated Joshua in New York in June. Still, his place at the top of the table lasted just six months to win 15 pounds heavier than in the first fight. He plodded around the ring, eating Joshua jabs for 12 rounds. Anthony Joshua neatly reclaimed his world heavyweight and ended Andy Ruiz Jr.'s abbreviated tenure. For strengths and weaknesses. For strengths, he does his best to work on the inside with short power combinations. Ruiz's best punch is left hook. He gets excellent torque on the shot and has shown the ability to hurt opponents consistently with that devastatingly effective punch. He's also very patient and utilizes good head movement for such a big frame as he attempts to close the distance. It's an ideal style for someone with stature, tools, and limitations. He works well with what he's got very, very well. For weaknesses, the first thing that's evident when looking at Ruiz is his physique. He doesn't look much like an athlete and could improve his conditioning. He's a smallish heavyweight at only six foot two with a 74 inch reach. He's too fight to fat. Ruiz is known for having an unlikely combination of podgy belly, quick hands, and even he questions if he was too fat to be a boxer. Promoter Bob Arum admitted his less than chisel frame meant no one would give him credit for winning as he looked like a fat slob. However, he proved to everyone that speed and skill are what mattered. Andy Ruiz Jr.'s net worth. The net worth of Andy Ruiz Jr. is now an estimated $18 million. By the time Ruiz fought Joshua, reports state that his net worth was only around $300,000. But after beating Joshua in the first fight, he earned $7 million after receiving his bonus and pay-per-view cut. the rematch in 2019, Ruiz made a $9 million purse before his share of the pay-per-view. The fight smashed the record for UK pay-per-view sales with more than 1.575 million buys. After losing to Joshua in the rematch, Ruiz faced Chris Ariola in 2022. 
He earned $1.5 million in prize money and got a 50% share of the pay-per-view revenue. Anthony Joshua, he used to be a bricklayer. Anthony Joshua used to have to take jobs before he succeeded in boxing. Before he put on the gloves full-time, Joshua worked at a series of construction sites during his amateur career where he was a bricklayer. Joshua said if boxing didn't work out, he would have laid bricks for a living. Number two, Joshua's time in prison. People look People look at Joshua and think he was born with a silver spoon in his mouth, living a prim and proper life. However, that wasn't the case. In 2009, Joshua spent two weeks on remand in a reading prison for what he would only say was for fighting and other crazy stuff. Joshua faced 10 years in prison. He ended up not spending more time in jail and was sentenced to a year of house arrest instead. In March of 2011, he was pulled over by police for speeding in Collindale, North London, and found in possession of eight ounces of cannabis hidden in a sports bag in his Mercedes Benz. He was charged with intent to supply Class B drugs and was suspended from the Team GB Boxing Squad, sentenced to a 12-month community order and 100 hours of community service after pleading guilty at Crown Court. Joshua said the experience was a wake-up call, and he's credited boxing for keeping him on the right path. Tattoos. These days, having ink on your body seems like the thing to do if you're an athlete. The 29-year-old Joshua is no different. He has three of them on his chiseled frame. He has one with the word wisdom on his right arm. The second one is a map of Africa with Nigeria highlighted because of his parents' heritage. And the final one is that of a British lion on the back of his neck. Joshua's Nigerian roots. For part of his childhood, Joshua lived in Africa with his parents. His mother is Nigerian and his father is Nigerian and Irish. While living in Nigeria, Joshua went to a boarding school until seventh grade. When his parents divorced, he moved to England with his mother at the age of 12. Joshua's childhood. Though of Nigerian descent, Joshua grew up in the Meriden estate in Garston, Hertfordshire, which is well known for its persistent problem of crime and drugs. It's prolific in criminal activity and widely regarded as the most dangerous place in town. It was these harsh surroundings that got him into fights and trouble as a teenager. Joshua loves to play chess. Anthony Joshua expressed his love for chess after opening up about his life during an appearance at the Oxford Union Society. For him, it's all about strategy and forces players to think ahead, not just what's in front of them. Chess, it's the same thing in the ring, like taking one of your opponent's pieces and then counter-attacking. You need to be two moves ahead all the time. This is great work from Joshua. What tennis, what heart, let's go. Seven, he once defeated an Olympic runner in a race. In 2012, AJ made his mark as a professional player with the gold medal at the Summer Olympics. In March 2016, he participated in a television show titled Superstars a television special with the participation of many professional athletes. Joshua blistered the field and won the race, including two-time Olympic gold medalist in the five and 10,000 meter Mo Farah by running an impressive 11.53 seconds. AJ also won impressively in the 100 meter race at this event.
So that's our compilation of fun facts about Andy Ruiz Jr. and Anthony Joshua. Did we miss any surprising facts that deserve to be on the list? What do you want to know more about? Well, please leave your comments below and let us know. And don't forget, like, subscribe, and tap that icon bell so you never miss any videos from Boxing Insane. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time.